you. Welcome to Youth Voices Live. This is, oh, I don't know, about our fifth show or so. Um, so we're, we're young, and um, Cassidy has, um, in Salt Lake City, she'll introduce herself in a second, has volunteered to moderate this, so I'm really happy to um, back off and, and let her do that. Um, so we have some students from Salt Lake City and some students from Oakland, California, um, Fremont High School and Judge Memorial um, talking. It is the 13th of February. Welcome everybody to Youth Voices Live. Um, so I'm Cassidy, I'm from Judge, and we're all doing the research project and I'm doing mine on physical exercise. I thought that was a really interesting topic for me because I've decided to work out, that was my New Year's resolution, and that was that's what got me into um, deciding to go into the research. And so, what I've been doing is well, how it affects not just the body but the mind. Because as I've been working out, I've noticed that I've been focusing a lot more in school. I've been focusing like on tests. It's easier to study. It's easier to like retain information and stuff. And so a lot of the information that I've been finding has had a lot of positive stuff about um, like mental, you sleep better, you're going to bed early, and a lot of things like that. Um, I found a lot of stuff on the body too, that your heart is getting a lot of more blood and things like that. And so you're just overall self just feels better. And for personal experience from working out, it's only been a couple months, but I already feel a lot better about myself. And so I think that's good that I can relate myself to the actual paper. And so I feel like I can get more into the paper as I'm writing it. So that's kind of my, my stuff, yeah. Cassie, I know I said it's going to throw this to you, but I wanted to slow you down a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. I'm really excited to, to jump in. Um, which is cool. Um, and, and just say a little more about yourself. Um, I'm a senior, and I'm in AP English, and um, I we're just been talking about you know the research stuff, and that was <coughs> one of the stuff I really got into is the physical exercise. I've always been really into it. Great. So now maybe you want to invite the the friends and. Fremont to join us. Yeah, what are you guys like studying about for well, have, research? Introduce yourselves first if you don't want to. So four comments. Hi, I'm Jamika. I go to Fremont High and I am a senior. I am, I am studying um, athletes diabetes. And I found this topic very interesting because it relates to me because I'm an athlete myself and I experienced some of my family members having diabetes who are athletes as well. So I'm focusing basically like how does diabetes affect athletes like the level of their playing and their endurance on the court and off the court and like how do they how can um they watch out for their nutrition of the food that they eat to still be healthy. Are you focusing like on a particular sport or are you just doing like sports in general? I'm focusing only on basketball. That's just the main sport I'm focusing on. Okay, that sounds really interesting. Thank you. Nice meeting you, Cassidy. No, yes, nice meeting you too. <laughs> All right. Hi, my name is Austin. I'm a senior as well. And my, uh, I mean, the practice is about in basketball to get out to, uh, for success. So what am I focusing on is, is um, Basketball is like motivation to do well in school and how do uh, other people look at us when we're open and we're like the top, top city of the dangerous city. Yeah. city. So I want to see if they see us as a different. Can you repeat that last part? I'm sorry. I didn't really hear you. Oh, so um, one of my questions is, do they see us differently because we are from Oakland? Like, okay. how the education is? Okay, and what stuff, like, have you been, like, finding out? Have you found any stuff? <clears throat> well, for, uh, for my field research, I'm going to do, like, two focus groups on, like, three basketball players each from the girls and the boys team. Okay. That's cool. That will be interesting to find out. <laughs> 
Um, my name is Jasmine. I'm a senior too, and my senior project is about jokes on who gets help and who doesn't. Basically, um, the difference between someone who has health insurance and someone who doesn't have health insurance. And I can relate to it because um, my own family members that had strokes, some have insurance and some don't. And so I can see the way who gets more help and all that stuff. So. That will be interesting. Have you found like statistics on it? Like, yeah. No? Okay. How, what are like some of the statistics? Um, it's 20% um, of the, no. 50% of them get a stroke once again um, every three Attention months. Attention, three months. Mm -hmm. And then the media is selling candy grams in celebration oh, of Valentine's Day. So show your support for Valentine's Day. Candy gram for that special someone. Well, we know we're in a real school now. See <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow. Grab it back, Cassidy. What was that question again? Um, what, like, what statistics have you been finding on it? That African Americans get um, stroke more frequently, and females get it more often than males. Wow, that's interesting. I did not know that. <laughs> Okay. 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 I'm Willard, I'm senior at uh, Fremont, and my topic is about how can you change like the NFL, the amateur football, rules to make it more safe for concussion. How, sorry, how to make football more safe? Sorry, was that the question? How to make football more safe for amateur to pro football, and okay. and injuries and concussions. And what stuff have you been finding on that? That most of the like uh, injuries come from like helmets, or like I read that it comes like from practice, and it like ends up more severe to the game. And are you gonna put in like what you think, like your ideas to make it more safe, or what do you think can make it more safe? If that makes sense. It does. Um, yeah. <coughs> I, 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 I did I'm not put you on the spot. <laughs> I did not think of that. Take my teacher out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you want to go? We have one more student, Cassidy, on our floor. What? What? Oh, wait. Do you want to come in? Okay. So, what's up? <laughs> so, what's up? My name is Lawrence. And um, I'm doing my senior project on. Obesity on low income. Yep. Right. I think I commented on yours. I was really into yours. Yeah. I thought yours was really interesting because, like, that's totally like two things that could totally relate, and I could see like, because that's stressful. So, so I get you on that one. <laughs> that totally relates. Do you want to introduce yourself? Okay. Um, my name is Alexa, and I'm doing my research project on gene therapy and cancer research. So kind of not really the whole health, exercise, obesity thing, more of a higher level biology topic. But it's most it's interesting now because with the technologies that we're developing, we're actually <laughs> being able to cure diseases, start to cure cancer, but then we're also realizing that maybe someday soon we can enhance genes. So there's the whole existential humanism thing going on too. So that's my project. Ready? You're talking. And John would like to introduce himself very briefly here too. Why don't you Go say Go ahead, John. Hi. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> hi, my name is John. My topic is about racism and respect. Okay. So you need to say a little louder. Uh -oh. My topic is about racism and respect. And have you found like stuff on that? Yeah, they say they say that. I forgot. It's okay. Yeah, uh, They said that um, back then. Back then, the racism was very strong. That people never gave respect to like to the group of them and how they they how they put what was about their race. They think that their other person's race are better than 
other person. And John is also on the basketball team here, right? So he's interested in sports and, and so forth as well. Cool. Thanks. So now, how do we? Do you want to do you have your topic? <laughs> do you want to share your topic? Sure. Yeah. Okay, come in. Thank you so much. Do you want to? Say? Yeah, should I go? Should I go now? Yeah, yeah go ahead. I can hear you. <laughs> Hi, my name is Natalie, and um, I'm researching pharmaceuticals. And I was just wondering, you know, I think pharmaceuticals are really overused. Like, for instance, you know, you have a headache. Instead of taking a nap or drinking water, you just take aspirin. So I wanted to see prescription use and see how it's doing. And, like, what I've found so far is that um, prescription drugs, like, their percentage of usage has risen so much in the last few years. So, I don't know. I agree with you because over here in Oakland, there's a lot of people that abuse uh, medicine. Like they would do, get medicine just to get high off of it, and I think that's that's pretty interesting on your your, your topic. Yeah, thanks. I found a lot on Xanax. Like the amount of oh. Xanax people use, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy what they be it's, doing. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So yeah. What kind of examples did you find? Like examples, well, besides the Xanax ones, um, over-the-counter drugs too. That's uh, another thing that's like there's not regulated that much. I'm reading a lot, and these drugs really aren't that regulated by the FDA too, which is a little scary, because we can be getting all these chemicals and not know their long-term effects. So, very interesting. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, that's about. Um, oh, 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 should we take her earphone off? Here, do you want to talk to her again? Yeah, please. I'm so loved right now. Okay, so are you gonna do like a proposal, like on how they can take it, or like strictly like, with it? Yeah, I kind of wanted to look a little bit into alternative medicines too, and see you know what really works and what are alter you know different methods of you know like you get a headache you know what else can you do besides take pills and kind of look at society too and the kind of culture we have that tells you just to take pills when you have something wrong. So. Oh, that's good. Thanks. <laughs> didn't catch that. Sorry. She said didn't catch that. I got a question. Like, <laughs> like, um, like, if you take it, like, can you tell, like, if the person like overdosing on it, like, have you did like a field research about if the person, how does the person like more and more and more? <laughs> what I found is that um, it's addicting. But what happens a lot of the time is the person with the prescription uses those drugs and gives them to other people so a lot of the time the person doesn't even have the prescription so yeah that's it can be addicting that way too it's kinda like a whole different you know drug trade and selling and stuff so uh, do you, would you find weed as like one of your solutions to relief? Oh. <laughs> personally <laughs> I think it's more of an alternative I'm talking about I think I think it's okay, just saying, but um, the drugs that are dangerous are, you know, like Xanax that control, you know, transmitters in your mind and play with the chemistry of your brain, and too much of that is not that great, so yeah. especially if you don't know the effect. By, by the way, um, we have somebody from Colorado here, so maybe he could ask, answer that question about the marijuana. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I didn't. Uh, I didn't hear the question. I'm just joining. Uh, I just wanted to check out uh, if Hangouts yeah, yeah, work, and I'm on my uh, school account, so it's working good. So I'm happy to see this. I can't stay for long though. I have students coming in. So. Yeah, got it. No, the, just the, I think somebody want to say what the question was about marijuana again. Oh, um, could could marijuana be like a some form of medication, like a the medication you would use? I think it would. Oh well, yeah. I guess uh, being from Colorado, you know, we legalized it. So, <laughs> um, and there's definitely been uh, medical marijuana available here for a long time. So, that's nice. 
Okay. And a lot of yeah, a lot of people say that it works, uh, I, particularly for cancer and uh, different uh, problems like that, where you know it can be very helpful in in dealing with nausea and, and different uh, uh, symptoms. Thank you. I'm glad that I was able to join. I have to run. I have a class just starting now, so but I'm glad to see everybody. Bye. You're not leaving. You said he is leaving. Oh, bye, Tommy. Wait, his name was Tommy. Bye. Good. I don't know what else to talk about. Um, how's, how's like the research coming? Is like everyone finding like information, or are you guys like having a hard time? No. I had a question. So, um, for my field research, I was planning to take of, um, liquor stores or corner stores around my community, and I was wondering around where you guys live. Do you guys have like liquor stores or corner stores? <laughs> we live in Utah, so no. Yeah, there's very, wow. very few. There's very few liquor stores. <laughs> yeah, like I can think of one. That's it. Yeah, there's like very few you'll see. Driving down the road. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, uh, I can probably use that as like some data. Like, yeah. How many miles? You'll drive like a few miles. There's one in Sugar yeah. House. That's it. Yeah. There's there. So John might be able to answer that question from the Bronx too. What, 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 what's, the, what's the thought behind that question? Why are you interested in that? About the liquor stores and stuff. Oh, um, because I feel that liquor stores have a, a it's like kind of a big, a lot of, a youth for the youth, and they attract them a lot. So. Can you repeat that? I'll, I'll, I'll repeat. It. Oh, you want to repeat, repeat the question? Oh. What did I say? Oh. <laughs> 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 that liquor stores. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Um, liquor stores have a big contribution to like a lot of bad health factors, uh, especially amongst the youth, because it's cheap and affordable, so they attract more. So being in a low-income community, we have a lot of them. So maybe uh, around where you live, are there any particular stores? Okay, no. Anybody. Well, Go ahead, speak up though. You gotta talk loud. Near where I live, there's a whole bunch of liquor stores. Wow. Drug stores and stuff. That people use just to just to use it. So they go just to visit? Yeah. No, you you need to, I'm talking about just to buy. Like they don't really need it, just they just want to buy <laughs> to buy and spend their money on it. On alcohol or on All of it. So what link? What link are you guys are you interested in between poverty and obesity? What, what's your thinking behind that? <laughs> so you need name tags on. I don't know your name. <laughs> Did my you hear my question? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wait. Can you clarify? Yeah. I, I was just asking what. What sparked your interest in bringing together um, poverty and obesity? Because <coughs> um, I feel uh, a lot of the are cheap, and I, I feel like they're cheap to attract the low-income people because they don't. That's like the only thing that they're able to afford. So the affordability and the convenience of it leads to a lot of low-income people buying the product. That's cool. I found a statistic that said medications are mostly used by middle and low income people. I thought maybe that has to do with diet, you know, because when you can afford to eat better, you don't need as many medications. It's true. Oh, that's true. I agree. Boom. 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 You don't want to say more? Okay. You want to ask me? John? I have a question for John. Remind us your name. Oh, my name is Shanika. Okay. Um, John, um, going back to what you saying earlier about couldn't get to you, um, you say you're interested in sports. 
<laughs> what particular sport that you are interested in? Well, I mean, I'm interested in all kinds of sports, like for basketball, football, soccer, all sports that's convenient. Convenient and helpful. Can you speak up louder, please? A little bit louder. He said, he said that he's interested in sports where you could lose weight. He's got a really nice voice. But you've got to project a little better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cassidy, I had a question for you. Yes. So what type of workouts are you doing? Like, are you doing intense workouts, or are you just doing, like, normal workouts for your project? Um, I've just been doing, I found out that when I was reading that like actually longer workouts, so instead of like short circuit ones, you actually use, lose more weight doing longer ones. So I've been like going on the elliptical for like 40 minutes and like running on the treadmill for 40 minutes and going on like the stationary bike for like 30 minutes and doing things for longer instead of shorter. And it's been really effective. and. I sleep a lot better. I go to bed like at 8 <laughs> when I was going to bed like at 10. <laughs> so I'm really tired now. <laughs> but I feel like I remember a lot of stuff, so that's a bonus. <laughs> so yeah, and which is all the stuff that the statistics have been saying which I can relate to, which I think is pretty cool when you're doing a research paper and you can actually relate to it. So yeah. I can also relate to your paper because last semester I was doing volleyball. And I'll be more on track with my school stuff if you need a um, certain TA to play. And yeah. once it ended, I feel like I just lacked. Yeah. Like stress free anymore. You just like feel better. Yeah. You're just like motivated. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Wait, I have a question for Joanna. 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 Um, Joanna. Um, do you take drug as like a health, like health benefit? Wait, who's Joanna? I'm not sure. Who's Joanna? Okay, for, but th there's a, there's a lot of people there. Wait, me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> 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 the guy that was talking about. The yeah, you guys need name tags, I'm telling you. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Did Go somebody ahead, pick up question. the question, though? Yeah. <coughs> yeah, repeat it loudly. Okay. Um, Whoever wants to answer it. I have a question. Do you guys take drugs like marijuana as a benefit, a med medication benefit? I don't, but I know someone who does. <laughs> I don't either. Well, we don't. Yeah, we don't want to ask anybody to reveal anything about themselves personally. Oh, I'm about to reveal. <laughs> 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 uh, this person. But why is it interesting? Why is it, it interesting? It interests me question? because I heard that um, that in Denver, was it Denver? Mm -hmm. In Denver, the drugs they use drugs as medication. For people that has asthma, you know, such things like that. Well, um, <laughs> marijuana. Sometimes, like, I don't have an appetite to eat at home. Yeah. I on on marijuana, it helps me eat. Everyone <laughs> 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 is so skinny. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, he's got all the colors. So I'm just I, I'm just curious about uh, just to pick up a couple of threads um, because this is there's been health there's been um, working out and so concerns about obesity and then sports I'm just wondering does sports help? Yes. People get healthy, or does it hinder people's health? Not, not, not. It doesn't help get healthy. It, 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 
It provides the weight. It makes the weight. Okay. Oh, it means growth. It reduces the risk of having a um, heart attack. And like, if you have a heart attack, it also reduces the percentage of having a stroke. Yep. I agree. Well, on some of the stuff that I was finding when, like, on just physical exercise in general, even if, like, you're playing a sport that's getting exercise and that's considered healthy instead of just not doing anything at all. So I think doing a sport is healthy no matter what it is, if it's basketball, volleyball, football. So you, as long as you're up and moving and getting your heart rate pumping, I think that's a good thing. So, yes. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry. Well, uh, I myself play basketball, and over the uh, time, since like August, so now I lost like 25 pounds in basketball. So, I made the team. Basketball is like really good. Uh, it kind of makes it look up here. Like, I lost a lot of weight. Are you going? Oh uh, no. <laughs> no, I just told him like that. Um I just lost it because <clears throat> I've been playing basketball since I was little. And at the time like it, it made me first it was a struggle for me to play basketball to get used to the sport because it was my first time trying. But as over the years kept going by and like I started losing more weight and in my height I just started Getting taller. Oh, yes, I started getting more taller, and I started to feel good. Like I can actually like move around, and be more active. Well, yeah, I'm a swimmer, and I started when I was little, so I didn't really do this. But when I started doing different sports in school, I actually felt different. Oh, you change color. Like the sweat, and knowing that you're really working out really hard, and the difference between you just do it. You don't have to do stuff, you don't really feel like you're forcing yourself. Mm -hmm. It's really good because you'll get different types of workouts and you'll get more healthier. And also what you eat too because if you eat bad for practice, your stomach will burn. So I feel like if you eat healthy and you work out good, you'll be fine. Like less, like you won't have some risk of having Jesus, you're dying. Yeah. And sports for me, like, it, got, it gets me out of trouble, and, like, it, like, relieves my stress. And, like, I do a lot of sports, I mean, like, there's nothing I can do. And, like, sports, it's like my life, it's like one part of me, like, I can not just stop doing it because my, I'm not just a kind of person. Like, it keeps me, keep me going throughout my future. That's why I'm in sports. Same for me as well. Basketball is like a motivation. I don't know, but it's like it motivates me to do success. It motivates me to become um, successful and do more better in school and to keep my grades up and be on track for myself. Like this is much more. I can't let it go because I love basketball with passion and it's my passion. And like that's who I am and it represents me. So hey, I'm still going to keep on going with it. I'm not going to never quit. Do they offer all types of sports at your guys' school? What? Sorry. Do they offer all types of um, sports at your school? Oh, yeah. We have all different. We have basketball, football, swimming. We have all of them. Yeah, yeah. We even have, like, an aerobics cube club, you know, like this, the cube. Yeah. What? What? I yeah, don't ask us. <laughs> we aren't in that one. But yeah, that's <laughs> Yeah, we have U Ultimate Frisbee is one. We, do. we got some people back there that play it. Emma, do you want to play it? Yeah. By the way, Judge, how did your football team do this year? We won the championship. Yeah. We did. Killing it. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, we're talking about like, Do you want to talk, Gabe? Katie, wanna? We're going to have a sports person talk. Sports man. Sports Hey, guys, what's up? It's me, Gabe. Hey. Sorry. I can't really under. I can't hear too well. This whole, this whole earphone would, would you thing like kind of sucks. No, because okay. then you'll be left out. Can well, we just take I, it out and just go for it? I guess. 
Let's do that. Let's get. You guys are all live now. The whole room can hear you guys. So okay. watch out. Hey guys. So uh, my name is Gabe. Do we have to mute him? Wait. Look, no. I think you have a. Oh, there it is. You would do a sound check. Yeah. Look, they're saying we're cool. Hey, so guys, my name is Gabe. Uh, I currently play lacrosse. Um, for Judge, you can you can tell by my sweatshirt. But um, yeah, I don't really know what you guys are talking about. You're talking so I'm about just gonna... sports and like fitness and how it makes you feel. It's good. It's good stuff. I'm an advocate. I like sports. I would say, um, yeah, I feel like any kind of physical activity that keeps you occupied and gives you a different kind of stimulus in your life that's not just like reading or learning or sitting in a classroom is good for you. It, it can. I think advance, you know, like your life and your brain. It builds your brain in different ways, and you know, it, it builds other things like sometimes character and morality. And so I feel like it encompasses a lot of good things. And I'm not just some jock like I dance and I'm in the musicals and stuff. But um, I mean, I'm I'm a big fan of of sports. So thumbs up, guys. <laughs> there it is. John had, a, John had a connection also back to diabetes. Do you want to mention it? Got to speak up though, okay? You do it. His his grandfather has diabetes. Is that right? Yes. So do you want to ask say you know, anything about that? You know you know that um, that if you have diabetes, you have to eat, you have to eat different kinds of, of food, like you know the little snacky bars. You have to eat different yeah. kinds of those. Oh, yeah. You, you have to you have to drink milk every day. Um, I can connect to that because um, my dad, he has diabetes as well, and the food that he eats, like, he goes on a protein kind of diet, like, yeah. and then, like, he had to get surgery because he was, like, overweight. He was, like, 500 and something, but, like, the surgery, it makes him lose more weight, like, every month and a week with his diabetes that he has, so he has to eat healthy and slow down of what he eats, so he had to control his nutrition. Well, my grandfather, he has diabetes, but not the, like the, the killing type of diabetes. Like, he can't, he can't eat, like, sugary foods. Like, he can't, he can't eat bread. He can't eat rice. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Is, is there a genetic? Is there a, a a link between parents and children about diabetes or not? I don't know. Yeah, there yes. is. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I believe there is, because it's like in my family, it's been going down. It's been passing down from like from sister to auntie to uncle, but I haven't got diabetes passed down onto me yet, so I don't know for sure. So. Are you doing things so it doesn't happen to you? Yes. I am basically watching my weight and eating healthy and playing basketball. Of course. Of course. Okay. And so, a, oh, my bad. So it's okay. <laughs> Go ahead. So, wait, this kind of connects to mine too because um, for obesity, it's like genetics. Like, if one parent has obesity, then their child has a 50% chance of getting it too. Oh my God. But if both parents have it, then that chance is increased to 80%. Obesity is contagious? Yeah, yes. Yeah, you can get it from your parents as well, yes. from your genes. I did not know that. Yeah, it's very. Um, Where did you get that information from? From the internet. <laughs> of course. Um, I believe it's the. No, I don't know. I was going to make up a site, but I don't know. Biology. Ms. Kim said it's true. So, my class is about to be over, so I have to go. Uh, so nice, it was nice meeting you guys. Bye, you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much, Cassidy. Um, why don't we just um, end here? Is that okay? <laughs> yep. Bye. Thank you all. Bye. Thanks, Paul. Bye. 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 Thank you, Bye. Thank you Utah. Bye. Bye, John. Bye, John. Bye, John. Oh, come on. Thank you. Now I'm going to run home.